Welcome to episode 19 of So You Want to Be a Star in the Music Business. I'm kind of switching things up a little bit. This will be a mock interview. Um, I'm playing the part of a band member or a group member, and I'm going to be interviewed. And Mitch has a set of questions, which I have no clue what they are, but we're going to find out in a second. And uh, Kevin, the, the role he's playing, they have a new, his group has a new CD coming out tomorrow called Next Chapter. I just made that up. Just made that up. Everything in this interview is completely fake, except for the type of questions I'm asking, which all come from real situations. Um, in addition, just want to be aware there are many types of interviews. Uh, there's a thing called phoners, which basically is done in advance with a newspaper um, or a blogger who just wants really a quote directly from the singer or band member. And uh, so they will call you up with and ask you a whole bunch of questions, uh, usually about 15 minutes worth. Um, you can also do a live interview uh, television. But if you always have to wonder, if you did a concert on Friday night, uh, let me go back, you did a concert on Thursday night, and you have another one Friday night, and they want you on Good Morning America, and you have to be there at 7 a.m. That means you have to be dressed, made up, ready by 7 a.m., it's a three-minute interview, and then you go away, and then you have to do a show the next night. The question is, is that worth it for your publicity? And that's always a battle between managers and press agents and the artist. So, but anyway, today's uh, something, an idea to give you some of the things you might be prepared for as your career progresses. I doubt this is going to be the type of question someone asks you if they don't already know something about you. Okay? Uh, All right. Go. Kevin, great to see you here. Um, Thanks for having me. Uh, happy, I uh, want to announce to the audience that his new CD, Next Chapter, will be coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. So, In Kevin. The stores, on iTunes. Something that we got texted us from some of your fans. Mm -hmm. I want to ask some of the questions they've posed to us. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. These are things that your fans want to know. Okay. Which of your band members are gay? Um... That's a good question. Um, you know, people are very curious about what goes on in, in the personal lives of different bands. But, I mean, you know, we, we prefer to just not discuss that and just talk about the album tomorrow. Okay, then we're going to move on. Your former girlfriend um, was quoted as saying that rehab saved your life. Mm -hmm. Do you consider that to be true? And how sure are you that you're past that phase of your life? Um, rehab wasn't a... I guess a secret. So I think most people understood what, what was going on and what I was going through. Um, she was definitely very helpful at the time. I know you mentioned it was my ex, but my family, friends, um, it was the, just more than the rehab. So it was the support of my fans, the support of, of my friends and people that just helped me get through the situation. But basically on stage, we're seeing a clean Kevin. Oh, definitely. definitely. Okay. Definitely. It's All been right. 332 days and uh, 25 seconds. <laughs> yeah, keeping you know, count. Good, for, good for you. <laughs> All right, just a couple of really quickies. What's your favorite color? Uh, depends on the situation. Whoa, okay. So non committal, you got, are you? Got, you? Right, you, <laughs> you got a favorite color for clothes. We got a favorite color for. Um, it depends. It just depends on what it is. Favorite car color. So, all right. I mean, that's all different. I'll pick one. Anyway, um, <laughs> all right. An another quickie question. Mm -hmm. Which one would you prefer to sleep with? Rihanna or with Jada Pinkett Smith? I'd take them both. Oh, you really are just not willing <laughs> to commit, now. are you? All right. Um, and congratulations. Uh, you, the album comes out tomorrow. And Next thanks chapter. for being here. Thank you. All right. So, Kevin, how do you feel about that interview? Questions like those, you, you feel completely set up. At least I did because I didn't, I didn't know what you were going to ask me. So it kind of, it just, like somebody just hits you in the gut. And you're like you're trying to act like it didn't hurt. And then you got to rebound to figure out what do I say, where to take this, how do I not look stupid, how does, just to make sure this doesn't wind up on TMZ and, you know, you just don't say all the wrong things. Well, either way, if you're famous enough, it will end up on TMZ. Right. And that's the point. As the interviewer, whether it's a blogger, a newspaper, a television show, I'm looking to make headlines so my paper or my um, blog becomes more famous. Therefore, I need news. I need to create something to just talk about your music. Notice I did not once ask him a question about the kind of songs on his CD. Because for the most part, no one cares. 
It's every band member wants to talk about their music, and gee, we like all our band members, and we like all this stuff. That's small town stuff. You're making it in the big city, in the big place. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a. You can be nice to someone. I was. Very, I think I was cordial with you. Yeah. I wasn't trying to insult you. I right. had no reason to. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to create news for the fans, whether or not they actually texted me about that or not. Right. This is stuff people may be talking about. And I'm, I'm realizing, looking back, what I probably should have did, but it's a makeup album, but every question he asked me, I should have diverted to a song on the CD. Exactly. So that's a good question. That reminds me of my song, So-and-So, on the album, and it talks about going through hard times and coming out on top. And yeah, that's coming out on the album tomorrow. And that's one thing I didn't think about at the time. You also I didn't mention your next concert. Then, yeah. You know, uh, this is, for him, For it's about publicizing something he needs publicized. Otherwise, why does he care about the interview? Right. So he did not come in prepared. A press agent or a manager should have said, here are the three points you must mention. Sometimes they will give it to the interviewer, like I mentioned his CD at the beginning. So we know what it is he wants to advertise, and we get it out of the way. You'll see that happen a lot on David Letterman, they say what it is, they show the CD, and then they stop talking about it. Right. So, which is fine. Then you need, you as the band member, as the artist, needs to be interesting. What stories do you have? How do you get me from asking the second or third question? You have to have a story that fills up the three or five minutes that the interview is that's really interesting and will make my viewers happy to be seeing my blog or my newspaper, or my magazine. Um, whatever it is that you've got in your life that is more interesting than we have, bring it up. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you do, if you're just saying, I, you know, when I brought up about the girlfriend, maybe you can just say, you know what? I really miss having a girlfriend. Totally yeah, go in another go direction. <laughs> you become human. Right. Your, your female friends can now get excited about, oh, he's looking for a girlfriend. Instead mm -hmm. of talking about rehab at all, don't even have to mention it. So you have to come prepared, and that's an art form by Set itself. Me up. That's right. Uh, as we said, this is a mock interview; it's not real. But uh, and certainly, if you're just starting out in the business, nobody's going to ask you these questions. The other point, of course, is which of your band members are gay. Um, I can't tell you uh, how ridiculous a question that is, but how often a question related to being gay or straight. Certainly, if you're a gay artist, half of your interviews, that's all they want to talk about. And who knows why and why that's of interest to anybody past the fact that they know you are gay or not. Anyway, moving right along, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you tomorrow for episode 20. And before we go, Kevin Curtin, Mitch Weiss, check us out on at the, well, our website or Twitter, mwentgroup.com. Sorry. Twitter is underscore mweg, and we hope you are... Tell just one friend about these. Tell a college professor to let his students watch them. We hope these are helpful. These are things you don't find Speaking in textbooks. College. Yeah. <laughs> and no college. Anyway, <laughs> talk to you later. See you on the next episode.